Describe the Harlem Children's Initiative. The Harlem Children's Zone is a nonprofit organization that funds and operates a neighborhood-based system of education and social services for the children of low-income families in a 100-block area in Harlem, New York, and it was founded by Jeffrey Canada in 1970. It is an example of a community intervention program that uses a block association program. They seek to maximize educational achievements for poor children and minimize their racial achievement gap. They ensure that each of the programs are strong and incorporate the best practices. They stay community-based and responsive to local community needs. And also they provide relevant data to program staff so that they can improve their services. Number two, describe which community intervention components were incorporated into the Harlem Children Initiative and thus made it successful. The Harlem Children's Zone education components include early childhood programs with parenting classes, public charter schools, academic advisors, and after-school programs for students attending regular public schools, and a support system for former students who have already enrolled in college. Health components include a fitness program, asthma management, and a nutrition program. Neighborhood services include organizing tenant association, one-on-one -on -one counseling to families, foster care prevention programs, community centers, and an employment and technology center that teaches job-related skills to teens and adults. This creates a pipeline of support which cultivates a culture of success rooted in leadership, teamwork, and passion. Number three, explain how these program components would affect community members, so the children's stress, coping, social support, and resilience. The Harlem Children's Zone is designed with the already mentioned program components, which take both effective and achievement-oriented schools and strong social community services to support the educational achievement of children in poverty. Overall, not only the children are benefited by this, but the parents can rely that their kids will be safe and taken care of at this location. The health component is important in how kids will be affected because poor families often can't afford to get uh, regular checkups or a nutritional plan. The after-school programs for students who go to public school allow children to socialize with each other and to relate to each other and foster a sense of community and this way they feel supported. Children from problematic and crime-ridden neighborhoods suffer from stress since they are scared and they know that it's not safe because they hear gunshots at night or during the day and this fear makes it hard to focus and have motivation to do homework and study. So this is where the components for um, the community centers with one-on-one -on -one counseling comes into play. Um, there's also the effect, they also focus on the effects of a neighborhood on child development overall. And it is evident that changing the social and physical environments of the neighborhood will eliminate obstacles for children and they will be able to have a network of support that promotes a healthy development. Their holistic approach works and without it, they wouldn't be able to do what they are doing since this is an approach that takes on the entire neighborhood. They do community organizing, so they help support tenant and block associations. They, and they participate in this association, which fosters a sense of community among residents and empowers them to address local quality of life issues. Uh, they also have leadership development where they have leadership training for community members, particularly the leaders of the tenant and block association, and they host retreats to bring leaders together around issues of concern in the community. They also have the neighborhood revitalization program where staff and local residents identify areas for neighborhood improvement and the physical improvement of the community. This physical change in their environment fosters a positive psychological change. They bring young people from Harlem Children's Zone programs together with adults and residents to volunteer and work on a number of projects, including painting, cleaning up the streets, creating and maintaining community gardens, and working together, they reclaim a lost neighborhood, which the neighbors find like as a new and powerful sense of community. 
They also have referrals to social services in where social workers are essential members of the community pride staff and they work alongside the community organizers to refer families to services like counseling, housing assistance, emergency food, and clothing. They overall attempt to create a community of self-reliant families working together to build a common future through their best efforts and support children in their academic achievements. Today, Harlem Children's Zone Pipeline programs consistently produce outcomes that meet or exceed national, state, and city averages.